Hey, what's up you guys? So I'm at work and I was walking a dog and I noticed there is a little baby bird on the ground and here's the thing. The bird is down here and I mean he's still alive. I don't know how good he's doing right now but the nest is up there. I can't reach that and if you look the nest is in such a weird place like if I went up there and tried to open it the whole nest would fall out so I really don't think I can put him back in his nest unfortunately because the way it built the nest is so weird and stupid like why are birds so dumb so I obviously can't leave him here on the hot sidewalk so I'm going to put him in a box and take him inside and I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna try to help him. So I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I wish they put the nest in a normal spot so I could just put him back in the nest, what the heck. Hello friends, so I'm back. I got off work and I took the bird in the box with me home to get a ladder so I could come back and try to put it back in its nest because I wanted to try putting it back in its nest. And here's my thing. Um, I came back with the ladder, and I found another bird on the ground. So, there's that bird, which is the one I just found, and then this is the one that I found from earlier. So I really don't know what to do, because, um, like, I want to obviously take them and help them, but it is illegal to take wildlife without being an actual, like, certified person to handle wildlife. And I obviously don't really know what I'm doing. Um, my friend Maddie, who is a wildlife rehabilitator, kind of told me what I could do, which is I would have to take them home and feed them like every two hours, which I can't really do. Um, so I'm thinking I'm just gonna put them back in the nest, which just makes me nervous because another one fell out. So I'm like, all right, are they just gonna fall out again? Like what if they get even more injured then? But I can't really do anything, and all of the wildlife rehabilitation people and rescue people in my area are closed for the night. But this is, again, right behind my work, so I can obviously check on them tomorrow and see if any of them fell out again. But this whole thing is just stressing me out because why can't I just be a normal person who doesn't care about animals and just leaves them, you know? Like, why can't I be one of those people? Oh my god, okay. So I'm just gonna put them back in the nest so the mom can feed them still. And I'll also check to make sure if any of them fell out again tomorrow. So yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on what happens. But first I'm gonna put them back in the nest. So I'm just gonna put him in here really quick with his friend. I'm gonna show you guys the nest because it's like really messed up looking. Like I don't know what these stupid birds were thinking making a nest in an electrical box. So you can see the nest is in here. I'm just gonna gently open it. And like up there is where the birds are up here. There's two more in there and it looks really crammed. So I'm thinking that's why they're falling out. But again, there's really not much I can do. If they fall out again, they fall out again, but I'm gonna try to put them back and try to help them and we'll see what happens those are the birds the two in the very front closest to me are the ones that were already there and this one in the back was one i just put back in all right so the one that's moving right now a little bit it just stopped yes that one the one that just chirped right here is the last one i just put in i think he's okay uh it looks like he's hungry because obviously he hasn't been in the nest for a few hours. Feel really bad for them. Oh my god. Please don't fall out. Please stop moving. All right. So I'm just going to leave now. There really is not much I can do, but I need to go so that the mom can come back and check on them and hopefully feed them again because that one looks like it's hungry. Oh my god. All right. I tried. I tried to help the birds. Okay. All right, guys, so I just went to throw the box away. And if you can look, I'm like walking back because I need to get the ladder. But that's the mom, I think, right there. So good news. It's obviously watching over the nest. 
and it's hopefully back to feed them. I feel a little bit better now knowing that the mom is there watching. Thank you, but oh, there she goes. All right, I'm gonna grab the ladder and leave now. Oh my God. Hey guys, so it's the next day. I went back to check on the birds in the nest and luckily today, none of them fell out. So I think, I'm hoping they'll be good and they won't fall out anymore. Um, I hope they do okay because I don't want to have to keep trying to put them back in. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I think they're good now. And the reason why I decided to film this and kind of tell you guys what happened is just so some of you know who might not already know what to do with a bird if you find it outside of its nest, the number one thing you wanna do is try to find its nest and put it back in. You don't need to worry about the mother bird abandoning its young because of human scent, because birds don't do that. But you do wanna try to put the bird back in the nest because First of all, you shouldn't take a bird home because chances are you don't know what to do with a wild bird. Keeping wild birds and raising them is a lot different than raising domesticated birds. Um, you really do need to know what you're doing. So if you find a bird outside of its nest that looks really young and you can't find the nest, then you need to try and find a rehabilitator to take it in, like a wildlife aviary rehabilitator. Hopefully there's one near you that you can take it to or have come pick it up. And if there, for whatever reason, aren't any wildlife rehabilitators near you, then maybe then I could justify taking it home. But keep in mind that it is illegal to take home a wild animal like that. So like, under your own discretion, if you have no other options, you could take it home and do research and make sure you know what you're doing. Of course, if you're young, you wanna get help from an adult. And at the very least, I would try to call a rehabilitator at least in another state somewhere else and ask them what to do. Cause yeah, you don't wanna just take home a wild animal and not give it the proper care and not know what to do and know how to raise it and release it back into the wild if you don't know what you're doing. So yeah, bottom line is if you do find a bird, just try to find its nest and put it back in its nest. That's the absolute best thing you can do for it. And I hope these birds end up being okay. I don't know. Or you could just leave the bird and not help it if you find one because it's not your responsibility, but I can't do that because I am not a normal person and I can't just leave a bird there if I see it. I can't just look away because I don't know, my conscience just doesn't let me do that. So yeah, that's it for today's vlog. If you guys liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I post videos every week. Check out my social media. The links to those will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.